Good morning. Today is Thursday, February 11th, 2016. I'm Chris Ivey. There is less Arctic ice than there has ever been in the modern area. We've got details. And I'm Marjorie Trouton. It turns out there's a lot more to our universe than we thought. We'll tell you more. Your CSN News starts now. FCCLA is selling Valentine's cookie grams. They will be taking orders during lunches and delivering them today. They will also have sugar cookies, brownies, and Rice Krispie treats on sale for immediate consumption. So get that special friend or someone a treat for Valentine's Day. The science team 1080 is holding an Italian dinner silent auction fundraiser on Friday, March 4th in the cafeteria. Tickets are $10 per person or $30 per family of four. Talk to Mr. Anderson or any science team member if interested. There will be a meeting for anyone interested in playing tennis this spring today at 2.45 p.m. in the cafeteria. Don't miss out. There will be a Leo Club party in room 674 today after school. Bring food to share. Also, the Foreign Language Society will meet on Tuesday, February 16th in room 127 after school. Don't forget to wear a jeans and your NHS shirt. The annual 2016 Movie Trailer High School Video Contest from CapEd is on. Submission deadline is April 4th, a $1,000 grand prize. Cash prizes will be awarded to the top three entrants and their schools. The top 10 entries will be shown on the big screen at the awards ceremony. For complete contest rules, visit catpedcom slash video contest. We'll be right back. Nobody likes to get pulled over, and nobody likes to get a ticket. Don't be part of a statistic. There is more to distractive driving than just texting and driving. Think before you act. Even talking to your friends in the passenger seats is distractive driving. Don't do something you wouldn't like to tell your mom. Not only a risk to yourself or your passengers, but also to other people on the road. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Well, we've had a cloudy in the morning today. Uh, the high is 49 with a low of 32. And tomorrow, looks like there's going to be a little bit of sun behind the clouds with a high of 52 and a low of 33. Sorry about that. Back to you. Thank you, Chris. Arctic sea ice extent hit a new January low last month as warm temperatures enveloped the region and low air pressure allowed cold air to escape the mid-latitudes. Arctic sea ice extent during January averaged 5.2 million square miles, which is 400,000 square miles below the 1981 to 2010 average for the month, and 35,000 square miles below the previous record January low, which occurred in 2011. This was largely driven by the unusual low ice coverage in the Barents Sea, Kara Sea, and the East Greenland Sea on the Atlantic side, and below average conditions on the Bering Sea on the other. Scientists have used radio telescopes to cut through the haze of the Milky Way, revealing hundreds of previously hidden galaxies lurking behind it. In a study published Tuesday in the Astronomical Journal, researchers from Australia, South Africa, the United States, and the Netherlands report that the galaxies, relatively close in comic terms or in cosmic terms, at just 250 million light years away, could help explain a mysterious gravitational phenomenon known as the Great Attractor. The area of the sky obscured by our own galaxy's mass is called the zone of avoidance and covers about 20% of the sky. And scientists know it's full of cosmic objects, but because of the dust of our own galaxy obstructs our view. Today's SAT word of the day is repulsive, which means eliciting disgust and rejection. You can use it this way. Though some laughed at his obscene outbursts, many of the dinner guests found their host behavior to be repulsive. Thanks for watching, and remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it.